Dunn. Bob Woodson with us, founder and president of the Woodson Center, former civil rights uh, activist. I guess you can't say anything or the mouse who she works for in Disney, Disney Inc. will come for you. Yeah, this is a part of a consistent pattern uh, of, of people who are supposed to be advocating for diversity as long as it stays within the narrow confines of their ideological understanding. Uh, but they won't tolerate it. And, uh, and you see this in, in, in spades with the federal government now trying to um, accuse protesting parents at school boards of being terrorists. And, and silencing. And in fact, the Loudoun County School Board in Virginia uh, just declared that any school official that dissents from the teaching of critical race theory will be fired. And so, uh, 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 so I think Sage Steele is just another victim of this, this, this scourge that we have uh, occurring on the, in the country where dissent, and the, when they say diversity, they really do not mean diversity. Well, they, they, certainly, they certainly don't mean diversity of thought, especially uh, when it comes to vaccines. Take a listen to Sage on vaccines. Um, sick mm -hmm. and it's scary yeah. to me in many ways. Um, but I have a job, yeah. a job that I love and frankly a job that I, that I need. But again, I love it. Yeah. I just... Um, I'm not surprised it got to this point, especially mm -hmm. with Disney. I mean, a, a global company. Why is Disney so scared of a, a woman, a woman of color who thinks differently? Why is Disney and the whole industry uh, in corporate America is being intimidated and, and uh, insisting that contracts uh, be determined by whether or not the, 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 the vendor is signed off on some kind of equity and, uh, agreement. Uh, mm. This is widespread. It's, it's even adversely affecting the military. The, the academies are being required to read books that denigrates the, the, the country's values. And, yeah. and so I just think this pollution is, is, is occurring, spreading throughout the country, and it, and it must be checked, and, and, and we must confront it. Well, you have confronted uh, lots of real issues in your time, sir, and uh, with great moral courage uh, when you were younger, and it continues still the day. We're honored to have you, Mr. Woodson. Thank you. Well, thank you. I'm being, I'm, I just want to say that I'm going to change this by becoming a certified racial exorcist. <laughs> I can exempt all guilty white people for racism and slavery. Uh, all also, right. Just change things. That, thanks. We'll be back. Always good to see you, sir. We'll be right back.